Well, good morning, everyone. The day has arrived when I say goodbye to my XJR 1300. I know I haven't had it long. Those of you who know me will probably know by now that I made the decision to go back to what I had before, the Honda CBF 1000. It's just more suitable for the type of riding that I want to do. Which was brought home to me in uh, no uncertain fashion when we did the Lake Vern we ride round a couple of weeks ago. I was absolutely knackered when we got back. So this will be my last little ride taking it up to the bike shop don't get me wrong this is a great bike and I still think personally it's the best looking bike that I've ever had it's just that it's not the easiest bike I find to handle on when you're on anything other than like nice A roads which we weren't all the time on trips like the Vern we ride and bearing in mind we got the Swiss Alps tour coming up next year I just know I couldn't do that sort of uh, mileage on this I'd be too uncomfortable whereas the Honda will fit the bill so I think the uh, the thing is I've just got all my hands up and say I got it wrong this time. I bought with my heart and not my head. So there's a lesson learned there. But whoever gets this will be getting a good bike. Fifteen and a half thousand miles. Excellent condition. So as long as they're buying it for the right reasons they should have years of happy riding on this The bike I'm having of course hasn't got any of the mods on it which is sort of seems to be the way with me whatever bike I trade in has had everything done and the bike I'm having hasn't the only thing on it is the front fender extender apart from that it is standard so I've already had the standard exhaust taken off it because I think they look hideous and I've got a nice Beowulf can on it ready for me to pick up now and the other mods I've got at home ready to sort out next week when I finish work Tuesday I've got mirror extenders uh, radiator guard uh, oh, I've got levers on the way, they haven't arrived yet and I've got a lower fairing oh and the tank ring for the uh, tank lock tank bag so all being well possibly without the levers, they come in from China they might be a couple of weeks but uh, hoping everything else will be on there next week now when I finish work timing is not great to start work tonight so I have to try and get a kip later today ready for that so I won't have any time to do things like that today nice to have a nice sunny morning go and get the bike certainly feel the drop in the temperature these days now can tell summer's a thing of the past no mesh jacket this morning that's for sure never did get to see Maverick's review of this bike it never happened unfortunately but 
he's still going to do one for me on the new one get his thoughts on it, it'd be interesting the one I'm having, it's a silver Honda CBF 1000 a 2014 plate with uh, less than 13 and a half on the clock so hopefully it'll go for years and years longer than me no doubt switch off for the last time okay folks see you in a bit well hello again here we are just, uh, just done all the necessary paperwork inside here she is so I'll show you the pipe on the other side got a nice enough sound, not too loud be giving those uh, down pipes the business soon clean them up before the lower fairing is on here we are, we're starting off 13,373 miles on the clock oh, there were three bars on the petrol as well it's a bonus especially being there's half a tank left in the XJR which is over there, look goodbye XJR looking nice in the sun but we move on ok, off we go feels a bit odd straight away going off that, off that Yamaha Take a couple of minutes just to get back to it first thing the clutch so easy to pull the lever in compared I hadn't quite realised how stiff that lever was on the Yamaha Petrol's immediately gone down to two bars. Oh well. Never mind. Of course, i am uh, gone back to six gears now as well. We've also gone back to no gear indicator. Oh, so see how we get on about that spent so much money this week, anything else is going to have to wait a bit now I've got the seat on the lowest setting which is ok for me I can feel it's higher than the XJR was, I haven't had that lowered with the shocks but this is low enough it just feels a little bit strange because I got so used to the other one dash lights are a lot easier to see on this I'll say that that was one thing on that XGR it was not very well designed those dash lights are hard to see and those little slit readout panels here we go Indicator would help. There we go. Oh, I shall 
started putting my slippers back on. Whatever possessed me to change in the first place from one of these. So, uh, like I say, I'll start work tonight, three nights, which is a pain in the neck of timing, but still, there we go. So, come Tuesday, I'll start sorting the mods out to go on. Uh, the big one being the lower fairing. But before I do that, I don't know if you noticed it on the camera or not, but the exhaust down pipes up to the link pipe uh, I haven't had uh, much attention so I'll give those a damn good clean I know once the fairings on I won't be able to get out but uh, at least I know they're done before it goes on it's the only thing I don't like about putting the uh, lower fairing on is that you can't get it things like that properly when time to clean but I think overall it's a good thing for the bike to have them on plus it does definitely look better got to get used to having the mirrors on the fairing again rather than on the handlebars which uh, is better I mean even before I put the right the um, not the risers the uh, extensions on the extension blocks I can partially see behind me, which uh, normally you can't. So that little bit extra width with the extenders on will give me a perfect view behind. Hats off to the uh, motorcycle mart. I took that Beowulf pipe up to them last week and asked them to fit it on because whilst I would normally do that job myself on this bike, there's a a valve connected to the standard pipe which if it's not sorted out properly apparently you can send the bike into crawl mode so I didn't fancy trying to muck about with that especially being can't get the bike up in the air so anyway I took the pipe up to their mass and if they'd fit it expecting 50 odd quid 50 60 quid bill for that but fair play to them they've uh, included it in the deal for the bike so I didn't have to pay so thank you to them very much this is the second bike now that I've had from them in uh, quick succession obviously I had the XJR from there last December didn't own that for long did I so uh, I've had bikes from them many years ago before that very long layoff from biking. Now this is uh, back to the riding of this. This, uh, this just feels lovely. One of the main problems with that XJR was it was very unforgiving over rough, bumpy roads. So when you got off A roads in particular places like Round Lake Vernery it was a bit of a nightmare around there so I wonder I had any teeth left by the time we got back from that ride but uh, this immediately brought back the memories of the one I had before soaks up the bumps so much better I can't get over this clutch lever how light it is As I say, I've got new levers coming. And, uh, look forward to getting those on. But uh, as those of you who ever buy anything off AliExpress know, you can get good cheap stuff off there. It's just that you've got to wait that much longer for it to arrive, which I don't mind doing really. It's worth it. So this is the bike now be doing the Swiss Alps tour on this one mod I haven't got at home waiting for this yet because I ran out of money 
is a rear hugger which will be a must I have to get one but as I say it's gonna have to wait a little while I mean it hasn't had one on up till now so I don't suppose another couple of months or so is gonna make much odds but I will be happier when I've got one on it So that's the last sort of major thing really, yeah, might do a couple of little bits and dabs, like uh, probably change these caps on the brake and clutch fluid reservoirs, like I did before, get some CBF thousand ones, but uh, just details really, no rush for that. that when we got back from the Vernwy ride that uh, that was the point where I actually made the decision that the XJR wasn't suitable for me long term it was going to have to go so of course when I made that decision the next thought is what do I get well as I've said many times I'd wished I'd been able to keep the Honda that I had before, the same as this alongside the XJR, but of course money meant it had to go to finance that deal so I immediately started to think about going back to that get, go, this time go back to something I know inside out no nasty surprises something that's suitable for the sort of ride I didn't want to do So I'll spend another day or two mulling it over, although I knew that the XJR was going to go. So I thought, right, well, it's going to have to be sold. I thought, get what cash I can, and then when I know how much I've got to spend, start looking for another one of these. So. I went to bed one night thinking right in the morning I'll ask my brother to help me put an advert together when I say help me I do mean do it really because I'm bloody useless on uh, on these computers and I've never actually I've bought plenty of stuff on eBay I've never actually sold anything so I don't need it at least showing how to do it anyway I, uh, I thought that's it in the morning get an advert put together take some photos Although, having said that, I did have quite a few of them already. And get it out there and see uh, if I could get it sold. So, the following morning, I had to get up early. Various things to do at home, so I had to be up early. And I had half hour to spare, so... I thought I'll just go online. And uh, have a mooch about. And I thought... One thing I always do every week is I have a look at the Motorcycle Mart website just to keep an eye on what they've got out of interest. Anyway, they haven't had one of these bikes since, since they had my red one last December which sold within a fortnight. So I just went on and the first advert that came up, believe it or not, new listing was this on the CBF 1000. 2014 plate under 13 and a half thousand and I thought good god I thought what are the chances of this so of course immediately I thought that's it I've got to get up there and uh, have a look see if there's any possibility of a deal to be done there because uh, one thing I was not looking forward to was having to sell the XJR privately waiting for somebody then to get time wasters and shysters trying to offer you stupid prices 
but I didn't really fancy that at all, although I thought that was the only choice I had at the time. Anyway, so off up to the mart I went. Bike was there in the showroom, and uh, I managed to come up with a deal which suited me fine. And that's it. So that was nearly two weeks ago. They couldn't get it through the workshop. They had to have an MOT and a service till yesterday. So I've had to wait nearly two weeks. But that wasn't a problem. So the chances of finding the exact bike I want out of the blue like that at my local shop just two miles from the house when they haven't had one in stock since my my red one last December. I mean, how lucky was that? Saved me all that grief with eBay. And uh, I'm one happy chap now. Gonna take it over to uh, Maverick's house. After I finish work, get the mods on, take it over to him. He wants to have a look at it. Uh, obviously he's had a look at the photos, said he already likes the colour better than the red one which I agree with, so do I and one or two people have disagreed with that, say they liked the red which is fair enough but it's my bike and I like the silver when I get that lower fairing on it's going to be the finishing touch really to the looks of it. I think it transforms the look of the bike. I know some people put comfort seats on them which uh, I would expect make a difference. The seat's certainly not uncomfortable but perhaps on long rides perhaps the comfort seat would make a difference. I don't know, but uh, for what they cost, I presume they do. So it's certainly time to uh, settle now with the bike. Can't keep swapping and changing like I have done. I just can't afford it apart from anything else. Plus, I've learnt my lesson. Buying a bike I fell in love with was the XJR and uh, was a mistake. Because of what it's cost me for the different mods now to put on this. And as I say, I've still got a rear hugger to get yet. It certainly uh, cost a few quid in that respect. So get them all on and then keep it. Make myself feel better by saying oh, at least this is a 14 plate, whereas the other one was an 11, the other Honda and it's got about 5,000 miles less on the clock than that had when I sold it, so just take that out of it and I like the colour better and I will like that fairing better as well because as much as the red one did look nice it's the shape of it that just just never quite happy with that where it joins the existing fairing, that thin section just looked like it needed to be wider which the black one is I mean there's a lot of black on the bike anyway it, uh, in my opinion suits it quite nicely one little detail is as well I need some uh, more motor of stickers now again to put on here that uh, standard one just had to come off absolutely hideous looking thing Plus they weigh a ton of standard pipes. Weigh about five, six times as much as this uh, Beowulf one. It's lovely on bends this is. Just 
effortlessly goes round. The XJR was a bit harder work on some of the bends. You had to uh, you had to ride that thing <coughs> compared to this. One of the reasons I was so knackered, I think, when we got back from that Vern we ride. I thought to myself, oh, I'm getting on now with the old man. I'll put up with too much of that. It's a shame to see it go though, it's a lovely bike they commented when I took it up to the shop just. It stood there gleaming in the sun. They know damn well they'll soon shift that. Damn shame I've got to go to work tonight. I, this weather today, I could have got straight on with it now. And I know I'm not working till tonight, but I've got things to do to prepare to go. And I always have to have a little kip in the afternoon, otherwise I can't bloody stay awake. Hard enough anyway. So I'm afraid it'll have to wait till Tuesday when I finish. It is annoying. I'd like to have got stuck straight in now when I got back. Still, you can't know everything. 